Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was on the Pure One website and I noticed this beautiful grandfather clock bookcase. I knew that I had a similar grandfather clock down in my basement. I purchased this clock probably about 15 or 20 years ago from a rooms to go outlet. I thought it was beautiful and back in the day it was definitely on trend. I've contemplated donating this clock several times over the years, but for whatever reason, I haven't been able to let it go. So I've decided to give my clock a refresh and reintroduce it to my home decor. So if you're interested in seeing how I gave my old grandfather clock a brand new look, then just keep watching. For this project, I'm using supplies that I had left over from my last video. That is the Zinser 123 Primer, this Champagne Gold Rust-Oleum Metallic Accent Paint, and my Polycrylic. If you haven't seen my dining room furniture makeover, I'll leave a link to that video in the cards above. I also stopped by my local Home Depot and purchased this six foot piece of unfinished wood. I had the associate cut three six by 17 inch pieces for me. I also picked up some corner braces as well. So the first thing I did was remove the doors, hardware and chimes from my clock. This clock has held up very well over the years. There were only just a few nicks, so I used a Dollar Tree sanding sponge to smooth out those edges, as well as smooth out the areas where I remove screws. I decided to fill my holes with this wood filler that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I simply used my fingers to add the filler. I let it dry for about 30 minutes and I re-sanded those areas. Here's what the clock face looked like. I thought it was pretty, but just not the colors that I was looking for. So I did cover it with the champagne gold paint. This is what it looked like after one coat. I ended up adding three coats in total. Before I continued my painting, I decided to go ahead and add my shelves to my clock. Here I am using that same sanding block to sand down the rough edges of my wood pieces. Adding shelves to my clock is fairly simple to do. Here I am marking and pre-drilling holes on each side of those 6 by 17 inch wood pieces. I'm then using wood screws to attach corner braces. Next, I used this Gorilla wood glue that I had at home to glue all three shelves to the center of my clock. I let that dry for about 30 minutes and then I used small screws to attach the corner braces to the clock as well. Next, I cleaned my clock thoroughly with a vinegar and water mixture and I allowed it to dry. Once my clock was dry, I added one coat of primer. Next, 
One hour later, I used a Dollar Tree soft bristle paintbrush to add my first coat of gold paint. One hour later, I added my second coat, but I used a small paint roller instead. The soft bristle paintbrush helped me get into the cracks and corners, but the roller will help make sure that I don't have a very streaky look. Once my second coat was dry, I also used a small sponge brush to touch up the paint and I allowed it to dry overnight. I want to protect my paint as well as add just a bit of sparkle. So here you'll see me adding some extra fine silver glitter to my polycrylic. I continued to mix this mixture as I was applying it because the glitter does settle to the bottom. I'm not sure the camera is picking this up, but you can definitely see the sparkle from the extra fine glitter. I was very pleased with the results, so I decided to only add one coat and allow this piece to dry overnight. To give my clock more of a glam look, I'm adding some of this decorative trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off. I'm also using some of this Dollar Tree diamond wrap as well as a few of these large plastic gems that I purchased from Joann's some time ago. As you can see, I cut my diamond wrap into single strips and I used crystal clear hot glue to attach these single rows of diamond wrap around my clock face. Here's a reminder of what my old grandfather clock originally looked like, and here's the finished look. I am super excited that I was able to refresh a piece that I've had for years, and I love the fact that I've added an additional function to the clock. Not only does it keep excellent time, but it also holds some of my favorite accent pieces. I think it's beautiful. I love to hear what you guys think, so let me know down in the comments. Did you purchase one of these grandfather clocks back in the day, and do you still have it like I do? I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Also, be sure to subscribe to my second channel, Dazzling Designs by Denise, up close and personal. I'll leave a link to my new vlog channel below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I upload new videos on this channel as well as my vlog channel every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.